What's up guys, it's Ronson here and we are back for another episode of Steve Keen out the Blackburn playthrough and this is just a November update and I do have a live com be the first one I've done and that is against Man City so um, I'm not sure if it'll let me do uploads over 15 minutes be really gay if it doesn't so I'm just going to quickly run through the fixtures rather than um, spend a lot of time on them and do the fancy stuff I normally do but I we only have four games. We started off the month with a 4-2 victory over QPR. Uh, Rashina get, getting a hat-trick, which is really decent, and uh, Hoylet. Uh, Tarab and Barton scored for them, and Tarab, it was a penalty, and uh, he missed another penalty in the 74th, and uh, that was pretty lucky, because that would have made it 3-all, and we would have lost. But um, in the end, I think we deserved to win, and that was pretty good. Um, next fixture was against Stoke. Uh, three all draw and this was quite disappointing as you can see they scored in the 88th and then the 92nd minute which is really really gay but um, to be fair they probably deserved the draw it's just annoying that they didn't score their two goals earlier than the 88th and 92nd minute but oh well um, next fixture was a 3-1 victory over Swansea uh, Vuksovic getting two and Rashina. Uh, Graham scored in the 68th minute for them and we deserve to win this game. Uh, just didn't really take as many chances as we should have. And our last game was a 2 all draw against Aston Villa. Another kind of disappointing result. I think we were maybe the better team. Uh, we had more shots, less on target though. Uh, two on goals, both were sort of ones that hit off the post. And uh, hit off the post and then hit one hit off Brad Guza and the keeper's back. And the other sort of... Hit, uh, hit the post and then it hit Kieran Clark in the face and it went in Darren Ben and Stephen Ireland scored for them and uh, that's that so we're just going to go on to the tactics as you can see I am playing this formation my uh, Lille one I have three formations depending on who we're playing against but uh, I'm just going to play this one I think no that should be good uh, and yeah, this is the League Cup quarter-final against Man City. They always play that tactic, so that's why I'm playing this one, because it's a wide tactic. And Carlos Tevez is playing. Um, I think they're just playing their reserve team. I'd really like to win some trophies with this side, so I'm going to say good luck, Lance. Well, that's going to have nothing. Never seems to work. This is the one that seems to work all the time. Uh, having faith with... Uh, midfielders because really when I do the sort of overall team talk uh, anything I say doesn't work but when it comes to uh, just if I do have faith on all of them that normally gets a good response so it should be good uh, I'm just gonna quickly get rid of goals here just because I don't want it lagging up and oh my fucking touchpad on my laptop is screwing up and um, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit as well there we go um, sorry about my voice, I'm, I'm a bit croaky, uh, I've just got a sore voice, but uh, here goes Balotelli to Barry, to Richards, into Denise, good tackle, Barry, Richards, good tackle, counter attack, come on, mm. get it away, oh. Hargreaves, good ball to Razak, oh he's just missed it, uh, they're really playing the reserve team today, so hopefully we can get a victory. Uh, and uh, get us through to the semi-final because we did get the hardest of all the quarter-finals uh, if you saw the other teams it was like Rochdale, Leicester, Wolves and uh, I can't remember what the other one was uh, the other tie was something like Fulham versus Southampton or something I, I can't remember to be honest but a uh, good shot from Machina there uh, Pedersen oh, twat come on let's go no, equal game so far Oh, Pedersen, oh, that shit. And uh, who's the referee? I always like to check who the ref is just because there's some ref. Webb, mm, he's alright. Lee Probert is the worst referee on this game. Every game, I hate him. Every game, it's either he's bloody been biased in some way to the other team or he's uh, fucked something up. But he goes Vuksovic, Rashina, good way, it's a goal. 1 0 to us. David Goodwilly, good ball through for Machina, and uh, Goodwilly scores. He's not really been playing recently, because uh, I've been playing one striker up front, and Machina's been in such good form. But uh, Goodwilly marks his return to the side with a goal. That's really nice. And uh, put us 1 0 up. Uh, Richards to Denise. Richards inside to Hargreaves. Tevez. Uh, Robinson will get there, though. Olsen to Vuksovic. How do you say that? Is it Vuksovic? I don't know. 
Uh, Vuksovic going down the wing. Oh, he's got past Richards. Rashina, it's a goal. Second of the game already. Given our recent form, I wouldn't really expect this, but uh, 2 0 against Man City. I mean, it's a reserve side, but reserve or no reserve, they're playing Tevez, Balotelli, who are both. And uh, it's not really. The defence is. Let me check who's in the defence. Anua, I suppose he's a bit of a reserve player. Two rays, not too bad. The one. Oh, good Willie. Uh, good save from Hart, though. He is playing in goals, one of the first team players. But uh, good Willie probably should have put that away to put us 3 0 up. But I'm not complaining. We're still winning. Who's going across to take the corner? Come on, hurry up. Who's that? Rashina. I, I always like clicking on the player names just to know who's who. Pedersen to whip in a corner and mmm it's with this tactic for some reason I have those stupid back post corners on they work sometimes because uh, this is a tactic I used on FM11 and these corners worked it was proper corner glitch and oh box scramble but uh, no proper corner glitch and these corners really worked but uh, I tend to find on FM12 it's the near post corners so we have to change that on this tactic I just never got round to it uh, Salgado who I absolutely hate uh, he's just awful, he plays badly, and he's one of those players, you know, who uh, just sort of stand and do nothing and just sort of look from side to side on the ball. He's one of those players, and it's so annoying. And Rashida's through. He's taking it right into heart. Oh, he's offside. Ah, damn it. Could win three, but I uh, would definitely dominate here. Uh, Man City playing a sort of reserve team. It's really showing Vuksovic, but that's a shit shot. Um, and yeah. Hopefully this doesn't go over 15 minutes, so it'll be quite annoying. But, ah, uh, well. Hoylet to Goodwilly to Rashina. Out to Vuksovic. Oh. Waste. Should have probably put that back in rather than just take a first-time shot. But, ah, uh, well. Kolarov to Razak. Who is Razak? I'm pretty sure I've seen him play. Um, Isn't Razak a nickname or he's got a different nickname? I don't know. Uh, someone can say that in the comments if they want. But uh, it comes out to Kolarov. Samba, you twat. Oh, Samba and Salgado being a bunch of, I think, ugh. Salgado there showing what he does best. Shit. But, uh, no. Rashino's been outstanding and my throat is really dry. Um, gentle encouragement. You've played well, but there's still room for improvement. One sec. Hopefully that will clear my throat a bit. See, if I do that, normally it comes with a good sort of... See? There's a lot more to come from you. Uh, I really want Samba to look happy, because Samba is our key man. Our only man. And uh, I did just sign him. Sign him! And the little lads. And Zonzi, well, scramble, it's in. It's in. Who scored it? Collar of own goal. Um, well, 3 now against Man City. Lucky our life come this game to burst. Um no, three and against Man City with a good result. Is the League Cup though, would have preferred it in the league. Uh, then they wouldn't have played such a reserve team, so you wouldn't know uh, if that's not. But uh I'd love to sign Tevez actually. I know he's a dick, but um, I'm not sure if he'd be a dick on this game. Um Balotelli, I know he's a dick on this game. They brought on Jekyll actually at half time to sort of spice things up for them, but I don't think they're gonna do anything with it. Um, oh, this is a good play for them. Richards, Tevez, good save from Robinson. Get it away. Oh, he knob. No, oh, Denise is offside. Um, yeah, so we brought on Jekyll and I would love to sign Tevez, even though he's a knob on this game, just because he's such a quality player and uh, we are lacking quality up front. I mean, Rashina, uh, probably our best striker, even though he's only sort of a young, really young prospect who he would be in the sort of under 20, un, like under 18 squad from, I'm not sure how old he is, I think he's 19 or 20, but uh, he'd be in the sort of under 21 squad for most teams it's like Arsenal, Man United it says, I think it said something like could be the next David Villa on his uh, information thing, which would be pretty quality but uh, another one of these corners though didn't work, Salgado to Hoylet who's just going to run, oh pff. deflection though and it's a uh, corner, I think I'm going to take people off when we hit 70 minutes uh, Samba, oh straight to heart uh, Olsen to Rashina to Inzonzi out to Olsen first time ball mm, headed away Jive to Pedersen 
He's going to get it back. Oh, good ball out to Hoylet. Hoylet in. Good Willie off. Not far away. Close from Good Willie there. Uh, no, it's been a good game, I suppose. Uh, right, Salgado gets it away. He's not played too badly. Uh, two right. Fouls Hoylet there. And uh, what about Man City? Not doing well without Yaya Toure. Somebody said it would, uh, like all the pundits were saying, I wonder how Man City will do without Yaya Toure in a Man, Man United game that showed. I mean, they came back in the second half, to be fair to them, but uh, mm, not great without Yaya Toure. He's a really important player with that for them. And uh, yeah, just a bit of real life football. I do like to keep up with that. I'm an Arsenal fan, for anyone who's wondering. Uh, Arsenal Leeds is just finished. And uh, yeah. So, 68 minutes, I'm going to make some substitutions. Martin Olsen's looking tired, so I might take him off. Yeah, I will. I'll take off Martin Olsen, bring on Scott Dan, and put Jive there, because Jive can play left back. There we go. Um, who else is looking tired? Voksovic is looking a bit tired, so... Can Formica play left wing? Ah, that was good enough. So I'll put Formica on the left wing. Just because we are three 0 up, and uh, I don't want people getting tired, um, and that would be good if we can keep, if we can win here and uh, keep, what should we call it, keep our players fit. But uh, Pedersen, Formica, oh, oh, he's offside anyway. But it was a good save from Hart. Uh, pardon me. I do have exams, uh, so I probably won't be able to upload as frequently. Uh, as well, I'm not sure I'm going to upload this, but uh, I probably want to get as much film manager done as well. And I haven't been uploading uh, over the Christmas period, although I have come back recently just because of revision I have to do because I have sort of uh, prelims to call in Scotland, they're like mock exams. But um, if you do really shit in your final exam, you can use your prelims, which are harder than the final exam, to sort of appeal, and it means you. Uh, Basically, if you do really bad in the final exam or you're off ill on the final exam, they, they, they'll base it on your uh, prelim. So I need to do well in these in case something goes tits up in the final exam. So I've just been revising some English and stuff. Abdul Razak there, I saw his name. I'm sure I've seen him before. He's got some nickname. But, um, yeah. Good will on the ball. Uh, Formica to Rashina. Back out to Formica. Put a ball in. Oh, headed away. Razak's going to get there, can they counter-attack? No, good tackle from Nzonzi. Jive, uh, Gams Pedersen, Formica, oof, not far away. But I'm, I'm enjoying doing live com, guys, so get to know me better with these, and uh, I can just sort of chat about random things. I hope you like this kind of live com, because quite a lot of people, I don't really know many FM guys who uh, sort of ramble on in the live commentaries, but uh, I just went for it, I don't have a script or anything, and um, really there's not been much excitement in the second half, apart from that early goal. So uh, I might as well ramble on a bit. But uh, yeah, so uh, game's coming to an end now. Really good, solid win. But uh, can we add to it? Hoil it, really pacey. Uh, puts the ball in. Oh, it's gone straight to Hart. It's all over. Three 0 against Man City. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get the assistant to the team talk. And um, man of the match goes to Rashina. Uh, and we really did. We were the better side there. And, uh, yeah, so, not sure, I've been recording for 13 minutes now, so I've got another two minutes to, uh, go on this. I'm going to just go on, so I'm going to in December, just so I can get the monthly awards. Um, League Cup, there you go, Leicester and Rochdale, as I said. And I'm not sure who the other tie was, because it doesn't have it there. But, uh, ah, well, Leicester did knock out Wolves, oh, God. Typical, while I'm recording... The bloody windowed mode thing, but mm, ah, there we go. Don't be a dick. Come on, right? Okay. Went to December. It says there, but uh, I just got a football for a mouse, and um, that's fourteen and a half minutes. So I'll quickly look at these. Uh, Defoe is player of the month. Uh, Gareth Bale and then Robin Van Persie. Uh, Hoylet is man, uh, player, young player of the month. Rashina comes in second, and Andre was third. Martin Gams Pedersen, that was a really nice goal. I might have to show you that next episode. And um, I quickly just stop the recording here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you later. Remember to give us a like and stuff, and bye.